Now, the Centre for the Promotion of Private Enterprise, CPPE, has set a key economic agenda for President-elect Bola Ahmed Tinubu. The economic think tank group urged that the incoming administration must succeed in its need to act fast. According to a statement on Sunday by CPPE's director, Muda Yusuf, the government should be ready to tackle macroeconomic issues, establish adequate economic governance, and ensure fiscal consolidation. Lamula Yusuf added that ensuring foreign exchange policy reforms, industrialization, trade and tariff reforms, agricultural reforms, oil and gas sector reforms, and financial sector reforms, among others, should be sacrosanct. We will be setting an economic agenda for President-elect Bola Tinubu on the show today. Business Insights starts right now. I am Justin Akadonia. Just before we get into the discussion proper, let's just give you a, a roundup for business headlines. Now, the lingering subsidy regime of the federal government and premium motor spirit popularly called petrol has stalled investment in the development of Nigeria's gas sector. A major and independent oil marketers said that over the weekend. About two years ago, the federal government declared 2021 to 2030 as a decade of gas and called for gas investment to deepen domestic gas usage. Now, Nigeria has proven gas reserve uh, base of 208.62 trillion standard cubic feet as of January 1st last year and is working to increase its reserve volumes to 220 TCF in 10 years, according to data obtained from the Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission. However, industry operators told our correspondent that the massive gas reserves across the country were not being explored by investors because it made no business sense investing in gas when the government was subsidizing petrol. Now, the promoters of the Lekki Port and Lekki Freeport Terminal, LFT, have disclosed that discussions are ongoing to move containers discharged at the port by barges to the eastern port of Calabar, Wari and Onicha River port, among others, to help increase the economies of those ports. The promoters also stated that the $1.5 billion Lekki port will begin the transshipment of cargoes to landlocked countries in the coming weeks. Addressing journalists in Lagos, the chief commercial officer of LFT, Kainte Olubine, said the port has been able to execute the movement of more than five barges of over 920-foot equivalent units of containers from Lekki port to the Kurdu area of Lagos state. Now, the Nigerian Meteorological Agency, NIMED, has raised an alarm over an impending thunderstorm and heavy rainfall expected in at least 12 northern states of the Federation in the next few hours. A statement by the General Manager of Public Affairs of NIMED, Ibrahim Montari, said that thunderstorm cells are currently observed over some northern parts of the country. The statement listed the northern states as Borono, Taraba, Gumbi, Bauchi, and Kano. The rest are Plateau, Nasarawa, Jigawa, Adamawa, Yobe, Borno, Bauchi, Gombe, Kaduna, Kano, and Katsina State, and the federal capital territory of Buja as the areas where heavy rainfall is expected today and in the coming days. And finally, the NGX All Share Index was bearish during the trading week that ended May 12, 2023, as it declined by minus 0.48% to close at 52,214.26 index point on Friday. Market cap also lost minus 137 billion naira to close at 28.431 trillion naira as against the 28.568 trillion recorded during the preceding week. The declines were driven by losses in the banking and industrial goods sector as eight indexes in total closed lower 10 indexes closed higher, while the NGX ASEM index closed flat. And that's a roundup of business headlines. We'll be right back with our interview segments. Don't go away. Stay with us.